All right. Uh, good morning back, everybody. It's Major League Baseball time. Uh, Terry is going to get on his high horse, but Tom is holding up the high horse a little bit, and so is Hunter. And I'm going to defend. I'm proud of I'm him. Taking, I'm kind of taking the middle path. I'm going to defend contractual obligations. Nope. And I don't care what it says. <laughs> Nope. So, so I'm going to give everybody a quick basis of where we're at in this about the baseball coming back. Uh, let me give the details of what's going on first, then we can discuss the the how, what, and when. Uh, Major League Baseball uh, and the players are arguing about pay, and I think there's a lot of mis- some, a lot of misinformation. I'm going to give you as much of misinformation as I can, uh, <laughs> the best information that I can. So, what I've got is that the players have already agreed to a prorated deal. Okay. Which means, for you folks out there listening, if they play 82 games, they're going to get paid for 82 games. They're not asking for 162. They've agreed to be paid for whatever their contract says that they played per day, basically. So if it's 82 games, they they play. They get paid 82. Now, with that said, uh, what the owners have come back with and said, without fans, we're not going to make as much money as we normally do. Not that we're, that we're poor and broke and have lost all the money and we, we're all our billionaires are about to go live on Skid Row with the rest of them. What they're saying is that they're not going to make as much money as they normally would. They didn't say nothing about their TV contracts. And they want the players to take an additional reduction of salary based on that amount of money. Now, with that said, none of their contracts are, are, are tied to attendance sales, whether they play 162 games or 82. They're contracted to play... If you're, it, for Mike Trout, if you're, you're contracted to play $40 million, divide that by 160, and that's how much he's contracted to pay per game. What the what the owners are wanting him to do is take that 600000 and then only get a certain percentage of it. So what, what, what they're saying is you're not even going to get close to that. If you're only getting a certain percentage, they're going to give, they're going to say Trout's salary is whatever percentage of his team's salary. <clears throat> so if it's 30% of their salary, and they only make $2 million as opposed to 100 Trout only gets 30% of that $2 million as opposed to his $40 million. That's what they're arguing about. And the, so it's not even a, it's not even close to a to the same amount of money that they're asking to be paid for. And uh, that's the issue the players are having is that it's a – the players' union, lawyers, and everyone on that side, it is a contractual thing where they would have to be approved because that is basically a salary cap is what they're arguing. And baseball players have never, and they say they will never, approve a salary cap. Which is BS. But. <laughs> well, it may happen. You never, you never know what, what may happen. Because look. But that's the I most mean, details I can you give just on, on the fact. don't play the guys that don't agree with them. I mean, we, we talked about this the other day. It's like, so, you got three, four levels of players underneath you that are dying for an opportunity to make the big bucks at the next level. If the guys that are already playing right now don't want to stick because there's a salary cap implemented, sorry, buddy. Looks like in our farm system, we've got 100-plus kids that would love to be up here. Uh, you might be the best. sport. I've always preached this whenever I hear contract disputes and people complaining about more money. You could argue, yes, that there won't be as much talent on the field because the most talented players say it was like a LeBron James not wanting to play because his contract was out of the way, and so they'd have to le- le- replace LeBron. I get it. You're not going to replace his talent, but people still going to watch. It's still going to put basketball out there. Yeah. If these, if Bryce Harper doesn't play another game, uh, the Phillies actually might make the postseason this year because they well, didn't make it last year. I'd say, I'm, I'm just I'd saying. Say in, in, a, in, a, in a lot of sports, I think too much of the money is going to too few of the people as we I mean you, you see it on all levels though. I mean you see it in colleges. We're gonna cut the baseball team one team does because the you know the people up top are making so much money. And you see it in, in baseball there's a few guys making, you know, you know, crazy money. I just think eventually the system's gonna puke on itself. You know what I mean? It, it can't you can't sustain like guys making three, four hundred million dollars and, and sustain the league that way. I mean I just don't think long term it, it well I don't think it's gonna work. Baseball wise I uh, unless it's just the billionaires that back it themselves, so I, you can look at the numbers. Baseball, like its demographic and its viewership, has dropped tremendously. If you talk about the, the three major ball sports in basketball and football, baseball and and including baseball, that's the one that's dropped the most in viewership wise. 
And if you just take a look at the, how Tampa Bay and Miami has been, I know they're kind of outliers because they're in Florida, but you know, could almost say the same thing about the California teams. If it's nicer weather there, you're playing in the summertime, why wouldn't I go to the beach instead of going to ball games? I, I, That's just my deal, tough. The When I look at it, this is my deal. The owners are losing money. The players are losing money. We, we all understand it. And that's when I sit back and one of the people who do what we do sit back and told them to shut your mouth. Talking about Stephen A. Yeah, I know, for sure. I, yep, and I was it. 100% with him. Like, don't be caught. Because here, and then the next person that responded to him was Harper. I'm like, you're the one of the highest, if not the highest, played baseball player out there. Mm-hmm. So your contract compared to Snails is like difference of night and day. So, yeah, will he lose a lot of money? Yeah. Hey, I'm asking you to do this for one year, guys. I kind of wanted to laugh, too. One year. I wanted to laugh, uh, not, too. Not your whole eternity. When Snell said, and I'm about to get taxed on it, Snell, you play in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is in Florida. There is no, no state income, income tax. tax yeah. Okay? So don't don't act like you're getting taxed kind of like everybody else, like I, the I, players I, in California and I, would be and taxed. I, and I tell you what people have no appetite for is they have no appetite between a squabble between millionaires and billionaires when a hairdresser ain't had a paycheck in two months. Yes. Nail technician ain't had a paycheck in two months. Restaurants been losing money hand over fist. All these people been losing money. And, and I, now, I, now, I we're, now we're going to listen to this. Baseball people, isn't yeah. a public service. Guys. But no, but it's, it's gonna, not it's a gonna, government gonna, service. But it's, it's going, a it's going, it's going to turn. It might be a going private to turn business, but people. It's going to turn people against it. Yes. What yeah. Why, why is it turning you against it being paid what your contract You know what's going to happen? Because, because you're listening Terry, to a no, millionaire. No, no, I'm asking you, Terry. Should the umpires get paid then? If they're not playing, why not you? No, no, the players are getting asked to get paid for getting played. You're asking them to play for free. No one is asking no, to no, pay no, for free. No, I'm not asking to pay for then free. Then what are y'all arguing about? There's nothing to argue about. They're getting paid for what they're getting paid for. Well, well it's, the, it's the whole get... point about the player saying, I might not even consider playing, but even though because he's get, he's having to take a pay cut. No, no. So y'all think... For the season. Y'all, I know that, but they're already taking a pay cut. They're right. getting paid a prorated bonus. They're getting, I mean, a salary. So if you're contracted to get paid mm-hmm. $50,000 a game, right? that's what they're going to get paid right now. Okay, so what? What's well? I don't. What the, I don't understand the, the, is the, the, are the why are the players just not because, so gung ho about because it? this is what you the, just no, get no, back no. to playing. That's the original agreement. The owners are now coming back and saying, now you're only going to get a certain percentage of that fifty thousand per game. So instead of getting paid the fifty thousand per game that you're owed of those games that you play, they're going to pay you ten thousand a game, okay. and that's not what the contract says. <clears throat> You're still play. You're you're contractually, Terry, Terry. That's basically like if you come to work, and they say, Terry, thanks for coming to work, but what we're going to do, we're reducing your salary to minimum wage. Who who's going to want to do that? That they're they're saying you're coming every day. We're going to keep paying you, but we're not paying you what we what we agree to. We're only going to pay you minimum wage, and that's what the base. That's what the I know it's not minimum wage what they're getting, but that's what that's my comparison to a regular person, is that if you came into work. If they said, we're only going to work half the year this year, guys, but when you come to work, we're only going to pay you minimum wage instead of the $20 an hour you normally make. That's what you're asking. That's what the owners are now asking the players to do instead of just come back and work half the year. Yeah, the different, the, di- the different, let me say this again. The difference is if you told that to Terry, he can't pay his bills. You take that to a major league baseball player, he's going to be fine. For yes. Yeah. That's the difference. Okay. Get better at what you do. They that's what they get paid in life. For. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 hold on. Now that's not you don't just say that to somebody that's that I'm saying that to man, me. That I'm not a major I can't league pay baseball. my bills, get better at what you do. Come yeah, on you now. can't Come say on. that yeah. to an average person. Yeah. I'm an average person. I'm saying it to myself. If if, if get on. better at what you in today's time, you can't just say get better at what Maybe you do. Maybe I should we're have been screwed. a better baseball yeah, right. player in my life and no. I would have millions of dollars to not have to worry about paying my bills. Yeah, but it's too late to say that now. Right. It's way too late to say that. Hey, now, but you can't get mad at someone else for making their money. I'm they not mad at them for making it, their it's money. Not I'm mad that disgust. I'm mad. It's yeah. So you're disgusted that they won't take disgust. minimum wage. But they're no, not no, taking no, 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 that's not what we're saying. No, no, no. I want you to think about it. They're not taking minimum wage. You know good and well just that even if they made ten grand off of eighty three games, they still they still made eight hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So why don't y'all just say what every player should make then? Because you're already telling them that you're gonna make not even close to what you're gonna make. You're, Terry, I, I'm going to take your salary in half, 
and then pay you minimum wage for the time. Well, you're what here. about the guys that are on the that's, team that, that aren't even the highest paid player? <laughs> and they're the one. Do that? I mean, they'll, it doesn't matter. They'll be better off in the long run because if they if they play their cards right, they'll say, "Hey, we understand the suffering that America is going to go through, so we're willing to sacrifice because all these people have yeah. lost their they're jobs." They're not veterans. Everything. They're not military. They're not government. This is business. Yeah, but this no, is, no, 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 no. Kevin, that's all my, what Kevin, that, what Major League Baseball is talking. About <laughs> it's giving you an image problem. Listen, just tell it's giving you an image problem. You know what it is? I cannot believe y'all are on the. It's elitist. Y'all are on the side of the billionaires. Though, yes. Not the millionaires. Yeah. Because I'm I sorry, don't know what no, the Y'all understand that. You're on the side of the guy who, the billionaire, no matter what happens, is going to be okay. Y'all just don't want the billionaire to give more of his money. You're not asking them to give. No. The, the billionaire it's the isn't billionaire, coming to get Hunter's it's, money. It's no, his it's money. The it's Jerry Jones' money. The millionaire is going to be okay, I was going to say, it's They're the billionaire okay. and the millionaire are going to be okay. You're so crazy. just All right, so this crazy. is the same thing in football. All the players should play for free this year then, too. No, play no. for free? No, they're not going to play for free. No, no, no. It's the full season. Patrick Mahomes. Is getting is who's good, who's the highest paid player in football right now? Because it ain't Mahomes yet. No, he will be. He yet. will be. Give me uh, someone. Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell Wilson. I, I don't might. think he's a top anymore. Though. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, he's top three. He's so, the top three highest paid. Yeah. All right. So we're league. we're making this t- saying the baseball players. So let's say the same thing to the football players. So Russell Wilson, you're contractually obligated to make thirty five million dollars this year. That is thirty. Let's say it's thirty five percent of the cap. Let's do easy ma- easy math on. Okay. If we only play eight games this year, you're only going to get the $17 million. Okay, I'll do it. That's what the baseball players agree to. Now, the owners are coming back after that saying, well, we're only going to make about half of that. So now, instead of you getting $17 million, you're only going to get the $8 million. So now they're asking Russell Wilson to play for $8 million instead of thirty five. million. Now, he's the highest paid player in football. Now, if you're only getting three hundred thousand dollars, and you start doing percentages of that, what if the league only makes ten million dollars and Russell Wilson gets thirty-five percent of that? Now Russell is only down to three million dollars. So you're asking Russell to take a potentially thirty-five million dollar pay cut or thirty-two million dollar pay cut off the top of a thirty-five. Now, whether or not you play in baseball or not, and you have a regular job, that if someone asks you to take almost a ninety-five percent pay cut. And still have to come to work just to make other people feel better. That's what you're asking them to do. Is what's what I'm hearing. And the bi- I will not be on the billionaire side on this because all it is is saying, "Hey Jerry Jones, instead you, you you should pay the guys what their contract is. I want you to save money, not the players to save money. I want the owner. I want Jerry Jones to save money. Again, we're asking Jerry Jones to save money, not Dak Prescott or Zeke or 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 the, or the guys that only played three years and make a couple hundred thousand. We're asking Jerry Jones to save his money. Well, when I would we, just – go, go ahead, go ahead. Go When ahead. we was in the middle and we was at break, Hunter was like, you know, this guy takes a cut. And then when you step back and look at them billionaires, we don't know how many sponsors they've lost. We know there's not going to be anybody in them stands. <clears throat> so the only way they're getting paid is sponsorship. And half of them sponsorships are not going to pay them. Because they can't afford it neither. So, the, I mean, we got to look on their side, too. And then if you say these guys keep saying, oh, I, there's no way. And then on the opposite side where, okay, they're going to put in a stipulation. If you think it is hazardous to your health, you might have the exempt that you do not have to play. All right. Then we bring up one of them guys from the low, lower leagues to take your place. Well, you know what? I hope that guy does take your place. And then you're left out and somebody else can pick you up if they want to because you're going to make way less money. Well, I mean, I, I would say, you know, one thing I'd, I'd, I'd agree with Kevin is that the, the billionaires got to show they're making a sacrifice too, which they really haven't. You know, the, the image problem now for them is we're going to save money at their expense. But from the average person, I mean, do you really do you really feel like listening to the squabble between a millionaire and a billionaire? I, no. I don't. No, I don't. I mean, I and I know what Kevin's <clears throat> saying. I know what Kevin's saying. You, I, this I understand is capitalism. that completely. This is a market economy. But th- this is a time where you'd like to see people say, we're going to sacrifice just like everybody else does. Yes. And you want to know what's going like to me? Yeah. This is, I was say, and it's really yeah. not even a year. The <sighs> only baseball players only play three to four months at this season. But like football that's players it. too. Y'all, y'all are saying football players should take a ninety-five percent cut across the board. They well, they I should, didn't say ninety-five percent cut. Well, that's what. It, just, what uh, but what if that, that could happen? Yeah, I know, but they that have not could. cut any either. Uh, but I want you to. But, so I want to say this. Football these players are, go ahead and agree to that. These same are already thing, millionaires. We're, we're not going to. These be are paid. already millionaires. If not you can't, li- if you can't live off of what you so, already made, if you're at the professional level, more than likely you're a millionaire. Okay. 
You are a millionaire if you're playing at the professional level. I don't want to hear it. And I don't hate you for that. And I'm just look, saying, I don't hate you, you for that. You just, earned it. You worked hard and you, you earned it. But earned guess it. what? I, yeah. I have no sympathy for you. I, you know why? Because you're making in three months this year something that I might never see in my lifetime. But why are yeah. you? So but why are you getting mad that they're not playing? Because just you're just. No, no, I'm you not mad. Watch. I'm yeah, not but, mad but, that they're not playing. You guys I'm, don't want them to get paid. I'm mad that that is that money is an issue for a show. Sport. Me, you under, they should pay for play for free. Show me you. I'm understand. not saying they should no, no, play no, for free. Then what should no. they pay for? We have to come to an agreement though. You can't just say I don't like something and not have a solution. Like what? What should? What should the solution be for the players? You're talking one year. Yeah, to do what? Year. Play for free? No, not play for free. But it's not free. playing They're for pay. free. They're getting yeah, paid. But, but how much? That's the argument, Terry. Listen, Terry. Follow we, along. But we, but we can't keep using the saying play for free then if they're going to get paid. Right. So but regardless. Follow along, though. If they only make $1 million, Terry, last year, last year the Angels only made in revenue $100 million. Their salary was more than that already. So if they only make one million dollars this year and say Mike Trout, you get thirty percent of that. Guess how much Mike Trout gets paid this year? Three hundred thousand dollars. And you're saying he should shut up and take that? What did Mike Trout make last year? What did he make last year? I don't know what he made last year. He's fine. fine. But y'all are saying he should shut up and just take the third. Now, if you do the math on that, and the guy who's making three hundred thousand, now he's only getting if that's what three percent of the salary cap. What is three percent of one million? He's getting thirty thousand dollars. So you're saying the guy that who made three hundred thousand last year should only take thirty thousand dollars now. He has and be option. happy with it. He has the option of taking the opt out. I'm not going to play on account of health reasons. Right. So but, he won't make nothing. But, do y'all understand? Y'all's argument is, is about your feelings that you want baseball to come back. It's not. It's not. That has no, nothing not, to do with. It's not about that. I want baseball to come back. Y'all are mad that they're, they're that they want to be about, paid. It's about right and wrong. I yeah, mean, it, it, is, it's, it's, it is right to pay the guys what they're contracted no, no, no. to. No, it, no, special times call for special circumstances. So, this is so a special only time. baseball, ordinary, play, only ordinary baseball ordinary players have had in to America sacrifice. should should should. Small businesses have had Tom, to sacrifice. Tom, they've already sacrificed half their salary. That's nothing. I mean, I'm just telling you. <laughs> when, 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 I mean, when small businesses, I don't have had understand nothing. how y'all were on the side that that Jerry we're, Jones. Hey, got, but listen, how much money we're saving here? So Jerry Jones is a billionaire, right? If is Jerry not listen, losing money with his other businesses? He's not. Jerry, Jerry's him. fine. If they don't, <laughs> say, but he's fine. But he's fine. But the Jerry, owners aren't losing money. They're not making money. That's not. That's the argument. They're not losing money. They're not making money. The owner already has a billion dollars. All the players are saying is, "Give us what we owe." And the owner is saying, "I want to keep my money." And you guys are on the side of the owner keeping his money. The money's not leaving anywhere. That money. Is already contracted to, to these guys. So if Jerry Jones is contracted to pay all the players on the Cowboys a hundred million dollars, y'all's argument is that Jerry should only pay them thirty million dollars and keep his seventy instead of just paying the players the hundred that they owe. Why should Jerry keep his money and the players not keep his money? That is what I'm saying. The the, the money isn't going anywhere else. It's either staying in Jerry's pocket. That that money, or it's going to Dak and Zeke. But and the way else. the way you structure the argument, it's like Jerry's going to have the same amount of money. He's just going to pay the players he's less. He's not, but that's what he's contracted to. Jerry still has the hundred million dollars in his pocket. Yeah, but he's not. You know, players' revenue. Um, he's their paychecks betting. Are based he's on betting this season. Yeah, but he's got money in his pocket to pay that. You're saying I'm. <laughs> that money isn't tied to revenue. Those contracts and none of their contracts say if we make this amount of money, we get less or more. So Jerry, if they make more than that, he gets money. Jerry has the hundred million dollars. Yeah, but they but they they're gonna structure the pay based on the anticipated money that's yes. coming in, right? Well, that's I mean, bad even man- that's bad management then. Well, I mean, you, Is you, it not? you can look at twenty year trend. <laughs> you can look at twenty year trends, Kevin. The revenue that's gonna come in, but you, you can't know. you can't guarantee the future. And as a yeah, business, if you don't have your reserves, and the that's all that's all reserves. business. But I, I know that's that, all business. I'm not. I won't. I'm not gonna sit here and argue that Jerry Jones keep his money and the players shouldn't get theirs. I know. I know you're saying, Tom, you're just waving a bloody shirt. But what I'm saying is. There, there are many people that have sacrificed. We look to our sports celebrities or others for leadership. Show a little leadership. Show a little. Yeah. Show a little. You know, if, if you know, I've, I've got you know my my. I just my, don't like the quabble between, like you said, billionaires and millionaires. You know, when when you go, like it, it means when, nothing when to you me. go look at all the small businesses that have been shuttered and all the uh, hairdressers, so, so nail salon, all the people who which have sport, suffered. Which sports? And as these folks don't want to. Which do their part. which sports then? I want to know. Should only play sports for about. Ten percent of what their contracts say, because that's for what one, we're arguing just about. For one year, just for all one sports. Year. Yeah, we're talking one well, year. I I, you know, I'll be honest. All I'll be fine. Players, I'll be fine with all players. players. I'll be fine with all sports going now, like that think, way in the future. What about Jesse? 
What about We're not Jesse? talking about he's not a millionaire. I know Jesse's not so a millionaire, Jesse's, but then but again, he's, less than, he's than, not. Than, than, he's making slight money off of his owner, but everything else has come from sponsorships. And in the long run, this in the long run, it's all sponsorships. And then, then the sponsors will say, "Well, we're going to pay you less, and then it will, well, you have to take less because you need to make the fans feel better yeah, about but our sponsorship." The one's going to come in there and say, "Look, I can't pay you that million dollars. Listen, I can only not, give you three hundred thousand. Everybody's a millionaire in these sports. You have to think about the other sports, the other guys, and then you're telling them, like I just <clears> said, the guy who's making. Three hundred thousand. Now you're making thirty thousand. You should I be just, happy about I it. I just watched and a should, rookie quarterback. Say, okay, that's I just not watched how the world a rookie. I just watched a rookie quarterback sign a deal for twenty million dollars. Mm-hmm. I don't feel sorry for. I don't feel sorry for. I don't feel sorry for. I mean, I and wish it's the I same did, thing. You I can say, don't. you know, they're not Who's millionaires. I don't, you know, I don't, you know, after a while, when you build up the contract, if you played maybe three years. I'd like to say you're pretty damn close, and you have a little bit more avenues you can go down. If you're smart with your money, then I can at my at my the, the in my least, position right now. I looked at I looked at all the quarterbacks. The least paid quarterback is is five hundred thousand dollars. So I, I think that if he made fifty grand one year, he'd be all right. You know, he's gonna be okay. I mean, it's just like you know, people got to put their kids through college and do all this. They don't want to hear no whining about it. Yeah. What about the schools that are already on the news? But y'all are okay with the Bowling owners Green? And y'all are okay with the girls? Sports. You're okay with the they're going to be lo- they're going to be losing. But you're money not okay too. with they're the all, They're money. all going to lose money. They're all going to lose money. Everybody's yeah. losing all money right Everybody's now. Losing Everybody's losing money. Everybody's They might not be public. The only person that's not losing money right now is Jeff Bezos. That's the only person that ain't losing money. First of all, Don't none of them are losing money. There's not money coming out of their bank accounts right now to lose money. They have the money. Their baseball is going to make the money. They're lo- the they're, money. They'll be losing they're the money. not if, have revenue. I mean, that's just how it works. It's like, but that's just how it that's, works, though. They'll work. lose that's the money work. if they're not making the money, and they have to pay the money that they have. So that's, they're losing money. That's words. Well, I don't care about the owners losing money. Well, then I, I'm the same way. About, I don't care about Hunter, the, bi- the Hunter, millionaires losing money. If you was a soccer money. player, and they came to you, and you had a million-dollar deal and said, Hunter, mm-hmm. you know, we're going to play half the season, so we're going to play – will you play for 500000 would you, and you said yes. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to come back and say, Hunter, well, I, we've got, I got a billion dollars in the bank, Hunter, but we're only going to make $2 million this year. So I want you to take 10% of that revenue instead of your $50,000. i am only going to give you $10,000 or whatever it is because we're not going to make that much. But I'm going to keep my billion dollars. How much money do but I already Hunter, have? That, that really matters. That what's, really the, matters. what's the point? Oh, what if you're in a rookie, Hunter? And you don't have any money. I just saw a rookie guys? quarterback y'all, 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 get five to a couple million dollars in football. All right, I'm okay. just. You, okay. I mean, you're speaking to somebody that Ooh, you know. This is this you're only saying everyone make. in the draft gets millions of dollars. It, that that is one first round draft picks. True. That's what. what first about the first other, second round draft picks. What about the other two hundred people? What about them? <laughs> That's the ones I'm arguing for. That the Jerry Jones shouldn't keep his money; he should pay those guys. So the seventh round draft pick, you're going to tell me he's only making fifty thousand dollars? I'm about to find out what he's making. I can promise you, it ain't just fifty thousand dollars. By the way, just like to clarify, Russell Wilson is the highest paid quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger is number two. So that's wasted money. Yeah, Yeah, and And you also (laughs) also have to also think about if you are the owner, they have to make money, or I can't pay you anyway. And you know that's what? not true, no, no, Terry. They already not. have money. You know what? Happens you don't have there? to make money to pay somebody money. It's called investment. You don't have to make money, I, Terry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. The, let they me don't put have it like to make this. money to pay. No, you. let me put it. They like already this. have the money. If that's the case, then Kansas City Royals will have as many championships as the New York Yankees because we can't afford to keep them. It's because not, they want so much money, it's and not we the have to let them go. Fault. Your owners are cheap. Terry, that has it is not to do with the, it. so. You're blaming the play. Only the players at Kansas City are greedy. There's no way the New York's Your gonna have way cheap. more sponsors, way more everything than what Kansas City could ever have. Terry, there's no rule in the world that says the Kansas City owners have to make the same money about that New York does. If New York spends two hundred, spend the two hundred to match them. Quit being cheap. We're not being cheap. Yes, we you can't are. afford it. If your owner has, <laughs> does your owner have money in the bank? It doesn't matter if your owner has the money to pay it. It doesn't matter if he made that money that year. He is contractually obligated to pay that money. That whether you made it or not doesn't have anything to do with it. If the all you have the money, you have to pay it. That's the that's what it is. Whether you made it or not, our owner in Kansas City does not make what the New York Yankees owner does. Right, right. it's not even close. Right. That's why there needs to be a salary cap. Now, Hunter, you're, that's a little bit more in that area, but that has nothing to do with whether your owner's cheap or not, though, Terry. <sighs> mm. Listen, Terry, 
We're not going to go out here and pay tons of money for a player. When we, we just lost him, we had him. He will not stay. I want more money. We can't afford to keep you. And your owner is <clears> cheap. <throat> that's not being cheap. That it's means so- we can- <laughs> it's that's like cheap. asking Dak Prescott to take your forty million and us pay nobody else. That's what you're asking us to do. That's not going to happen. We cannot afford that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, I, well, you're right. In in that, it's not that you can't afford it. Your owner's being cheap. <laughs> oh, he's got the. If he has the money to pay it, he don't have to match. Whatever the money you make does not have to be proportional to what the Yankees spend. If you only make a hundred million. And it takes ninety million to make a baseball team. Suck it up, make ten million dollars, and spend you ninety million. Instead, the owners are spending the twenty million and making their seventy something. So we can be like the Angels, like you said. They make a hundred and they spent way more than that on the players. What's the goal? Is your goal to make money or win? You want the well, team they to can't win. win. The owner wants team to make money. At least when Florida did it down there, they won a World Series back to back. Almost, you know, when they did it twice again. And what they do the next again, year again. What did they do Again, the next year? bad management and no, no. Cheap, ma- cheap ownership. No, no. What they do the next year, all them players are gone. Bad management and cheap <laughs> ownership. I mean, when I'm just looking here at Blake Snell, I mean, he, this past offseason, he just signed a $50 million contract extension. I mean, I don't feel sorry for him. I, I you, live, you live in Florida, and you're, first of all, you get a tax break because there's no you're state income tax. that his owner should keep his money. Well, the owners, I mean, it wasn't matter. Y'all are arguing. At this point, everybody's just trying to keep money. The, but why should the owner keep his and the, and the, and the baseball players why should but, but why should I feel bad about a guy that just made $7 million last year? I'm not asking for throwing you to feel bad about him. I'm asking you to be yeah, every fair. four or five days. I'm not asking you to feel bad about any of them. I mean, I, y'all I, feel bad about the owners is who y'all feel bad about. You're, y'all are passionately arguing that the owners are going to lose money. What are we going to do? No. Pay the baseball players. That's what you do. The, the baseball. I, Fine. Listen, you feel I, have, I have a solution. You, no baseball. <laughs> yeah. No that's baseball. what I'm saying. <laughs> no whether baseball. You feel bad about it. If, it. if it comes down to that, though, and enough players say that they're not going to play, that Major League Baseball actually decides to not have a season, first of all, I think I'll just be disappointed because, like I said, you've got 150-plus kids waiting to get a spot at the MLB. They would kill to probably play for fifty thousand yes. dollars. Just move them. Or hey, hey, the AAA teams up. That's you know, just play. I don't I'm hundred percent. I'm hundred percent fine with that. If they will pay them what they're what they're contracted to pay them, but don't bring the minor leaguers up who's contracted to pay get paid twenty thousand dollars a year and be like, now we're going to only pay you a percentage of the revenue, and now you only get one thousand dollars a year. Are you okay with that? The minor leaguers getting because that's all they get is twenty thousand a year. So what percentage this, of revenue are you going to say to them? Well, no, this, I would say this. What so should they like, make, Terry? Should my, what, what is it? What is there a difference? You can major almost, leaguers play for free because you already made this much, but the minor league. It, which one is it? That'd be a what good question. You know what pay? I would do? Because they're only getting twenty thousand no, a year. You know what I would do? I would take the lowest guy that's in the major league. I would figure his up, and I'd go look, guys. Y'all can come up here, and this is what I'll pay you. And every one of them guys would say, "I'll jump to it. I'll go play, I'll and I'll be happy." What did Michael Jordan say Sunday night? He turned that down. No, what we're talking about. I mean, I mean, it's a whole different story there. I mean, he just he just went way out of the way. Right. 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 He turned down his opportunity. No, I don't even want to hear that. Oh. Hey, they uh, could have paid him. They would have offered him a hundred million dollars to come up there, and he would have turned it down. Yeah, but if I went to Saddam Lulan over here and I ask him to come up here, he's jumping at it. I'll be there in a second. It is. It is. So, just, it is. What's, just, what's his slugging percentage? <laughs> it is just. <laughs> It's just blown my like mind. I like to see Salam Dudon <laughs> slugging percentage. What y'all want it? Jerry Jones to keep his money and not pay his players. No, you, what their contract lead deserves. I tell you what. Uh, here's know, the if, difference. Baseball's, Ke- pro- or Kevin, baseball's probably going to have a full season. Kevin, Kevin is just a lesson to media spin. <laughs> you know, if, if you say one thing, Kevin just take it, just twist it, and just set it right back in your face. And then throw Michael Jordan, Jordan up at yeah, him. Yeah, oh, Lord. Lord. I'm saying not everybody's going to go so Who, some guys which one what, of us said we feel t- sorry for the owners? What I mean, Nobody said. What I meant about the – Yeah, but that, y'all are defending their position, though, as opposed to the player's it's position. It's a prag- – we're, we're, we're defending being pragmatic. Uh, that's uh, Jerry Jones about. keeping his money is what you're defending. That's exactly what it is, oh, Tom. Whether or, not, <laughs> listen, not, whether or not that – okay, let me put it this way. And it happens all the time. Whether or not that's your purpose, that's the end game. Is that better for me to put it for you? Mm. Whether or not that's how y'all feel – and what y'all think, the end game of your position is it will lead to the owners keeping his money as opposed to the players the owner's keeping gonna the bottom take a line hit. Is this. The owner's going to take a hit. Yeah. The players don't want to take exactly. it. Exactly. The players are already taking a hit. They're taking half their salary right now. That's what I don't understand what y'all aren't getting about that. Well, they've already agreed to the cut. Now they're I'm, asking them to, Terry, they've told Mike Trout, you're only going to get $20 million this year if we play. Then they said, okay, we'll agree to that. All right, y'all come back. 
Now, whoa, whoa, before y'all come back, now instead of that, you're only going to get about a million instead of 20 Well, million. they haven't come back yet, so there's yeah. time. So, I mean, they so, haven't come back but, but that's what they're telling him they now. They got two months. Instead of the months. 20, now you're going to get what we, instead of what we agreed to, half, you're only going to get one well, million. Well, technically less than a month. Okay. If they, they want, baseball would hope to get in by July 1st. All right, JP, what you doing in there, man? He's clicking buttons. He's doing good. I, I saw him. I'm controlling the computer like you wanted me to do. You're doing good. I, I I can't hear you exactly. Yeah, we, we can't hear you, but just thumbs up if you're doing good. There you go. Thumbs there you up. go. Love you to did, see boy. It. You got to love to see it. I could click that button, but I haven't really been in the mood to yet, JP. How's your <laughs> breakfast? It's good. There you go. I heard <laughs> did that. he even turn his mic on? I don't he know, just yelled at it. He just said it's good. <laughs> I like it. Ma! Ma! It's the meatloaf! <laughs> My mic is on. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Just, oh, yeah. just making sure. All right, JP, let's take a break. When we come back. We've got NASCAR to talk about. We've got top ten NBA players. Terry wants to talk top NBA players. I don't know how we're going to get into that. But we'll get. We'll go. Oh, yeah. God, he he meant that for real. Did you uh, read in, that in, ESPN in article and that's what you did? You yeah, just that's, made what, that's, that's what he said. All right, JP, we'll be back in a minute on KDCBroadcasting.com. I got my there, looking Terry. for a new car, maybe a pre-owned car or truck, or maybe an SUV. Then let your fingers do the walking and go to whatsupshopper.com. Local dealers with local vehicles. You don't have to drive all over the country. Just click on whatsupshopper.com and take a look at the local selection of cars, trucks, SUVs, and more from local dealers in Gaston, Cleveland, and Lincoln Counties. 